Where the hell is he? And why can't you talk? Oh, yeah. Hey, guys, I'm back. Ah, oh, ain't glad you're here. Sanford needs help. He can't speak because the creator hasn't think of a voice for him yet. He sounds like a Karen trying to start a war with the manager for not having a good mask. Yeah, no, he sounds like he's in one of those movies where the dude got his lip locked. What? Matrix? It's not called Mattress. It's called Matrix, you idiot. But that's what I- I know some voices for Sanford. It might not be perfect, but it's better than being a mute. Okay, say a sentence. I will destroy the agency and be a hero. Too friendly. I will destroy the Stanley and save my job. What was that? I don't know, it just came out when I got the voice. I think it fits. Hank J. Wimbledon begins to think to himself. This voice sounds really familiar. It's almost like it's from some sort of game. He begins to get confused on why I'm narrating him. He started getting weird out, and then he changes his mind, hoping for a better result. But little did he know, it was only gonna get worse. Having someone narrate in your every move would be annoying. Next! I will destroy the entire facility of the agency and start my own. Next! I will always save the day, and if you think we- Next! Hey Hank, I have a job for you. I'm not a moron! <clears throat> Hank changes his mind again and tries to give this voice a second chance. I think we have to go for this one. We have no choice. There's an update coming, but it's not here yet, so... The narrator it is. See, no hope. He has no choice but to use this voice for the person that is me. Although he would start getting a nerd at the fact that I'm gonna narrate him. This is not gonna be fun. Hank begins to realize Shut that. Shut up! 